Hello, everybody, and welcome. Broadcasting live from the MIN Truck Forum in Munich, out into the world. It's great that you could join us for this special occasion, the first ever digital event. As you can see, I am super excited. I hope you are also. My name is Chris Brow. I have the honor to be your host and to guide you through this special event. Now, let me tell you, the trucks you've just seen in the opening film have endured for millions of kilometers and have served their owners faithfully. And today, we're going to unveil the new truck generation of MIN and gather some very interesting insights. I could promise you that. Now, let me tell you, um, this is not a one-way street, okay? It means we don't want to just talk to you, but you should also talk to us. That means if you have any questions, if you have any comments, please, at any time, let us know. If you look at your screen, you'll find on the right side, you'll find a chat window. And all you have to do is enter your email address, and then you're basically just one click away from joining the conversation. And this means, once again, that you can ask questions at any time, and we'll answer as many of these questions at our or during our Q&A session at the end of the show. Now, ladies and gentlemen, also, um, all guests that you see in front of the camera, but also everybody behind the camera, has been tested for the coronavirus, and we're also obliged to follow strict hygiene and safety rules and a safety concept that has been put up especially for this event, just so you know. Everybody here is safe. Now, reliability and efficiency. These are the two main reasons MLN trucks are trusted by our customers around the world, and especially in these four continents of the sales area. And MIN trucks and buses have been operating now for decades, almost all around the world. And the credibility that MIN enjoys is the result of the consistent high performance of the products, but also thanks to the excellent support by the local partners. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take uh, the opportunity to introduce the executive board member for sales and marketing at Emma and Truck and Bus. Here is Göran Nieback. Göran, great that you could join us. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for having me. Wow, look at you. How are you doing today? Uh, doing great. Yeah? yeah. It's a fantastic day. Sun is shining. We have exciting news. The sun is shining outside, but also from the inside, obviously. Oh, my heart. <laughs> this is, uh, so to say, the most diverse and also widely spread uh, sales area. So, so how does this feel for you now to, to introduce this? First of all, let me tell you, I would have wanted to be in front of you physically, but uh, I promise you, we will make this an exciting event, even if we have to do it in a virtual way. Yes, it is a diverse uh, market. We talk about the international market. We have some plus 70 countries that we address uh, in, in four different continents. So, yes, this is really, truly a global event that, uh, that is super important for us. And uh, I also heard you already won an award. Is that, is that correct? Yeah, we actually have been winning plenty of awards, <laughs> but one is very special to us. And we had uh, this award uh, uh, given to us the last time in 2008. It's the International Track of the Year Award for 2021. And it's a super prestigious award, award, maybe the most prestigious award in the transport industry. So we are super delighted. It's a confirmation that we have done the right things, both with the products and the solutions that we offer with the product. Obviously. Congratulations to that. And Thank you. continued success, obviously, also. Now, maybe you can tell us, um, in your view, what factor or maybe also factors um, are, are common across the sales area when it comes to MIN? Yeah, I would say, uh, of course, the, the teams that we are working, we, we talk about strong teams. We team up with our, our partners, our importers, our customers to make sure that we take good care of them. Yes, we have a super good product, but in the end of the day, in the transport industry, you need to be taken care of. And I think the, the personal engagement, the personal face-to-face -face support that we are giving to our customers and operators is, is going a long way. And, and you can see that in different surveys as well, that we, we are really standing behind our product. We have good, solid, robust products, mm. but the people behind it is, is standing out. 
So maybe you could tell us a bit about the response in Europe so far, as I know the new TG uh, range has already been in operation. Yes, uh, the, the response is somewhat overwhelming. It's, uh, of course, we were excited that it's like giving birth uh, when, you, mm-hmm. when you launch a new product. Uh, but the, the first media in Bilbao last year, we had a fantastic response. But then the true uh, picture comes to you when you start talking to to customers and and get t- customer testimonials where we see that the product is really performing the driver p- uh, driver fit is excellent the driver loves the track secondly the fuel efficiency is 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 really really uh, good we have improved the fuel efficiency with, see, with over 8% we had a tube report we have even customers that claims that our fuel efficiency has improved by 10%. And this is big numbers, that it has a massive impact on the total cost of ownership. And we are, if not the best, among the best now when it comes to fuel efficiency. So uh, definitely one of the reasons why customers uh, should buy these new trucks in the Miala regions, right? Absolutely. So uh, now we know a bit about what to expect from MIN, but what do you expect from the sales area? When it comes to the sales areas, of course, uh, we are giving the sales areas now the best tools in the industry, the, the latest and greatest products from Emma. And, and of course, now we are going to take this opportunity and bring those uh, products to our customers in the market, making sure that we get people to touch and feel and drive these products and utilize them in the industry segments where we have the perfect product fit. Um, You all know where you have your core business. You know where we can hunt more business in the industry segments that we are really, really competitive. So take these tools, embrace them and go out there and meet the customers and let's do some business. You really are enthusiastic about this new product. Uh, Just by talking about it, uh, it gets one excited, but is there a chance to see the product? The you really product? want to see it? Of course. Okay, Chris, let's go and have yeah, a look. Yeah, let's go. All right. So this should be exciting. Maybe one of the most exciting parts of uh, the whole uh, unveiling, so to say, of a new product. Yeah. The moments before, right? Yes, and of course, uh, this, is, this gives me even goosebumps if we have done this before, but it, it is a moment where, where I think everyone gets a bit excited. Um, are you ready? I am ready. This is the best of the best, so here we go. Let's start the countdown. The moment we've all been waiting for. And ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Wow. Wow. How about that, Chris? Take a look at that. You like it? It's amazing. Just standing in front of it is even more impressive than seeing it once again on film or in the pictures. Uh, this, is, this is fantastic. It's not just looking good, it's performing super good. You still feel the same way every time you see it too? Absolutely, and uh, this individual lion that we see here is uh, the top of the range, uh, really attracting the owner operator, the driver community, etc. with that little extra comfort and, and uh, features that, that the drivers expect from us. Obviously, you know your way around when it comes to the TGX. Can you give us some more details? We can talk a lot about that, but you know I have a super expert with me today, Robert Seeger. He will give you all the, all the, all the news about the product, so stay tuned. All right, that sounds good. Gerland, it's been a pleasure having you here with us. I wish you continued success and stay safe and hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much. All right, thank you very thank much, Gerland. Thank you, thank you. So and now we're going to show you a quick video with some more pictures of the TGX. Enjoy that while I move my, on my way to Robert. So, and now here we are. And uh, before I actually introduce our next expert here one more time, don't forget, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask at any time using the chat window on the right side. Just enter your email address and you're part of the conversation. We'll answer as many of these questions at the end of the show. Now, I am super happy to welcome the Senior Vice President, Head of Product Marketing at Emma and Truck and Bus. Here is Robert Ziga. Robert, Chris, hey. how are you doing today? I'm great. 
great. How are you? Very, very good. Very good. This seems to be a, a fantastic occasion and a, uh, a special day, obviously, for Emma. And how, how do you feel? I'm thrilled, I have to say. Yeah? I feel excellent. Well, maybe you can give us some, some more details about this uh, new uh, series, about this new generation. Sure. Let's have a look at it, okay? All right. Well, I mean, we have reworked the whole truck. Mm -hmm. But basically now, looking at the exterior, uh, we did redid the whole styling and design. Mm -hmm. But let's start with some details. One of the most striking, I have to say, are the new headlights. Okay. You see that here? Even with the MIN logo in, inside, this is the light signatures. So you can see from far, there's an MIN coming. Right. And that perfectly fits in the all-new bumper. And by the way, this one is also available in steel. So very robust and for tough applications. Okay. And then with the with protection here. And then we have the new front lid. This is also more robust. And then the big shiny MAN letters. And on, on top of everything, our beautiful and strong lion. Definitely. And that has been the inspiring model, you know, the brand mark for the whole styling. Because if you look at it from the far, you see it looks like a big cat, mm -hmm. you know, with the eyes mm -hmm. ready to hunt the competition. All right. It looks, looks fantastic, that's for sure. What about some more uh, functionality uh, updates? Well, we also redid the, the side of the truck. Mm -hmm. And uh, one element here are the mirrors. Mm -hmm. So what we did was we made them a little bit more slim, put them a bit in the back. And that, on the one hand, improves aerodynamics. But very important as well, it improves the direct view. Okay. And that significantly in improves the safety. Okay. But that's not enough. We also reworked the door. And what is important for the door and the entrance is that you have a wide opening angle. And right. we almost made it to 90 degrees. So access to the truck is super easy and ergonomic. And on top of that, we also reworked the whole entrance steps. Mm -hmm. So they're evenly leveled. Mm -hmm. And we have an anti-slip door steps, very robust with a tooth edge. So you need to tr try this. All right. So Very no safe and very ergonomic. Not only the design, but also the functionality, once again, upgraded. Exactly. Maybe we could talk a bit about the interior, though. What does this truck look like from the inside? Why don't we go in a cabin and look on that? Well, follow I'll, I'll follow you. I'll follow you wherever. Well, that... Great. <laughs> That's a good place to be here. I've never truck, been right? inside one Why of don't these? you take a seat here? Really? You trust yeah, me? You're the yeah. driver's seat? You're the driver. I'm your trainer. Okay. Take okay. a seat. You said it. Wow. This is cool. So how does that feel? Awesome. Great. Look wow. here. And it's Armrest. comfortable. Yep. Well, we basically redid the whole interior. Uh -huh. That includes everything. Mm -hmm. Compartments on the front, on the rear, bed, storage, fridge, everything. You're sitting on an all-new generation of seats. Of course, in a, in a wide spectrum mm -hmm. of, of different options. Mm -hmm. And we also redid, you see that here, the whole dashboard. Looks like it. And also the new steering wheel. And let's start with the steering wheel. Is this the right position I was about to ask? No, that is the parking position. OK. So it's completely tilted away, and you have easy access to the truck. So how do I bring it into a driving position? There's a knob on oh, the left on the steering column, and you can tilt it <gasps> perfectly almost 36 degrees towards yourself in a perfect driving position. That's nice. And you see already here, all the relevant controls are at your hand. That mm -hmm. makes easy. Uh, that makes driving super easy. Mm -hmm. yeah, all the driving functions, all the infotainment functions uh, of the cockpit you have here for the gears, everything is at your hand. But let me tell you, or ask, is this, is this standard? This is optional. Okay. We have uh, different, uh, let's say, uh, option sets, mm -hmm. so the customer can choose on what he really wants and needs, mm -hmm. uh, and we find a solution for every customer. Awesome. What about the dashboard? The dashboard is, let's say, the central element for the driver mm -hmm. because this is where you have all your visual information right but also all your controls and what we did is we divided that in two logical layers so we have one level which is the visual level mm -hmm. this is as far as possible to the street why because the eye can easily adapt between street view and your displays. Ah, I get it. But the thing is that you need to have your controls as far as possible to yourself so that you have easy reach. Right. And so we have separated this in two layers. All the controls are at easy reach. And one of the most striking things in here is our MAN Smart Select. That is cool. From so you see that armrest? Mm -hmm. You can put your hand on it and you have all the controls. You see that here? Uh, see? You have everything at your hand. Look at that. That's nice. So that's a perfect control. And you can even have a little, it even has a little touch 
on the top so you can write letters, numbers, whatever. <laughs> All right, very nice. Okay, so definitely upgraded when it comes to usability here for the driver. To um, a max. To a max. And um, there's one more thing um, you could show me, though, and that is obviously the heart, the drivetrain. But before we do that, uh, we have some more pictures of the interior, uh, some clean shots we'd like to show our, our audience. So why don't we Ooh, give it to them? Let's All go right. with it. So, talking about the heart of a truck, the transmission on the one side, the engine on the other, and us two in the middle. So tell us more about this. Well, a truck is nothing without a heart, right? Mm -hmm. So you need, of course, a perfect engine. And here we have included proven technology and quality testing components in our new truck generation. Mm -hmm. So you see here, this is the latest uh, edition of uh, the improved uh, engines, mm -hmm. what we have, mm -hmm. a 13 liter engine in this example. And you also see here a very uh, interesting component. This is an automized gearbox. Mm -hmm. And that helps the driver to increase efficiency and make driving much more easy because the computer takes control and takes care on all the gear shifting. But the, let's say the essential thing is you can have very efficient components. But the key is to integrate them perfectly into a comprehensive system. Right. And this we achieved because we have reworked the whole electronic architecture of the new truck generation. And it's now guided and headed through a central control unit. Mm -hmm. And through that, it's super easy for us to implement and integrate all the individual components to a perfectly fit system. And we can create different driving programs. We have a lot of driving programs for every individual application. Interesting. Like you just said, right? You can have the perfect components, but the interplay, the combination exactly. um, is uh, the actual key. So from an engineer's perspective, maybe you could tell us, you know, why should a customer consider this range compared to your competitors? Well, I would answer, we have the most comprehensive offer in the market. Mm -hmm. When you look at the portfolio, we have everything from Euro 2 to Euro 6. Okay. In the program, so that's uh, very important for the different markets. Mm -hmm. We have an excellent driver fit because the driver is in the seat of the transportation task, and we have great efficiency. And that all together, that is the best package in the market. And we want our customers to say, it's simply my truck. Right, right. You definitely convinced me, uh, right. that, that for sure. And I'm sure you're going to convince uh, the customers out there also, probably exceeding their expectations as usual, as you, know, as you would know it from MIN. And um, hearing uh, what uh, MIN has to say about the trucks is one thing, but what do the customers actually say about MIN? What are their opinions, their experiences? Well, let's find out. We're going to share this with you. So let's play the film. Igual que el teniente, aquí bajaron un teniente con 29 toneladas, 28 toneladas a 90 km por hora, es una confianza que el camión te lo produce. No, no derrapa, las curvas no patina, es un camión de esta, de esta, de esta vida que tiene, no es, no es comparar con esos camiones, pero sí tiene mejor estabilidad que varios que han dado. Y lo que yo amé a nuevo del mundo, es que el motor es muy potente y el camión est vraiment bonne. Ça dit, tout ce qu'on a besoin de ça en Afrique ici, genre, les qualités de la, de la route, le camion est numéro un. Je vois une voiture, ma chère, matine, qui est très forte pour les routes qui sont difficiles, nous sommes en train de faire. Elle est très forte, 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 très forte. لانه زي ما بتشوفوا اذا بتشوفوا انتم طبيعه جبالنا طبيعه طرقنا هون كلها شوي صعبه بدها سياره بتكون قادره تمشي في هاي الطرق. لكن اس کی سب خصوصیات میں سے ایک بہترین خصوصیت یہ ہے جو کسی عام گاڑی میں عام ٹرک میں نہیں ہے وہ اس کی ہے مان کی فیول ایوریج یعنی ڈیزل کا خرچہ دوسری تمام گاڑیوں سے تمام ٹرک تمام کمپنی کے ٹرکوں میں سے اس کا کم ہے. 
Lo que me gusta del camión man es su confort, su estabilidad, su sistema de frenado y su comodidad. Lo, lo que cambiaría de man sería la, la cajonera que trae por un, por un frigo bar, como se le llama, para viajes largos, para cosas no perecibles, fruta, bebida, etc. Y recomiendo man. Voilà le dessert. Le sud d'Algi. Man gari, bolende to ekdam halka gari. Aur long chalne ke liye aadmi thakta nahi hai bilkul. To bahut achhi gaadi hai mujhe to jo hai na ye sab gaadiyon mein se jo hai na sabse achhi yahi gaadi lagti hai kyunki yahi main chalata hu starting se sahi hai aur bahut achhi gaadi hai driver ke liye bhi aur مالی کے لیے بھی ٹھیک ہے جی آپ سلام الغفار واخر کمیون مان جدید ما شاء الله لي قوي برشا به في الكونسوماسيون نخدم به كاريير ما شاء الله قوه قوي برشا من اقوى الكمايان وما شاء الله لي ما شاء الله في التقدم وما شاء الله في الكونسوماسيون وفي الكاريير من احسن كمايا الحمد لله وما يكونش خلاص ومرتاح برشا وكونفور Well, what should I say, Emma? And it looks like you have some happy customers out there. Is there a better feeling than that? I don't think so. So thank you guys uh, for your comments. And now you, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget the upcoming Q&A later on once again to get your most pressing questions answered. If you have any, now's the time. We have the experts here today, so why not ask your questions directly, all right? So use the opportunity. Once again, on the right side, you'll find the window. Type in your email address, and you're just one click away to join our conversation. Now, we've heard uh, some comments uh, from the board and also from the par product marketing side, but why don't we uh, join uh, uh, Noel, Noel Macaron. He is the head of sales truck at MAN Truck and Bus, uh, who can tell us a bit more from his perspective. So, Noel, first of all, great Hi, to have you. Good to see you. How are you feeling today on this special day? Very excited. I'm very, very happy after all the, the uncertain times we, right. we faced that now finally our customers are able to see the trucks in there. And what a markets. beauty it is, once yeah. again. <laughs> so maybe you can tell us, you've obviously met with customers in the region. Um, what do they take into consideration most when deciding to buy a new truck, for example? For our customers, the most important are, is the total cost of ownership. For them, this is the major buying argument. Mm -hmm. And for us as MN, we try to simplify their business in order to ensure their success. Mm -hmm. This is basically what we try to do. Okay. And uh, what would be your top argument, so to say, when, when selling the vehicles? Um, there are three or four major arguments. Of course, these trucks are offering the best comfort, safety and uh, performance uh, mm -hmm. in the market. Um, it's a high quality truck, of course, very re reliable and efficient. Mm -hmm. And if you combine all this together with the after-sales service, an, an outstanding one, of course, and uh, a dense network, this will be the best package of, on the market. Uh, and um, one of your pillars is the claim to be a strong partner, basically. Um, how do you interpret this? For us as MN, if we say partnership, we mean it, you know. Uh, we are partners of our customers. We are also partners of our importers. Mm. The importers have been doing a great job in, in strengthening our, our uh, brand image in mm. the markets. And I am sure that with this truck, we are going to grow our partnership further with our customers, but also with our importers. So maybe you could tell us what's next. Any next steps? Anything you can unveil? Yeah, the best is going to happen next. Of course, our customers in the whole region, Middle East, Africa and Latin America, are going to see, touch and feel this truck. All right. We are very happy about it. I think everybody's looking forward to that. And we have two gentlemen who are already, who have been able to touch, feel, and experience this truck. Uh, and I'm gonna hand it over to Patrice, my dear colleague, who's standing by uh, Jimmy. And Jimmy has a special assignment. He has to deliver one of these trucks to Morocco, to one of the first customers of the TGX. So why don't we take a look? Patrice, it's all yours. Thank you, Chris. I envy Jimmy a bit because he's about to bring this 
truck, this specific truck over to Morocco. But before we talk more about that, here are some insights of the TGS. Time to say goodbye. Ready for the uh, for the big trip? Yes, we have to put inside to prepare ourselves for this long trip. Now we are almost ready. What do you mean almost ready? Do you need to check anything? Like yes, we can, I can give you a small idea about our engine. That's a huge engine. Yes, 12.4 liter D26. It is Euro 5 in this case, but we have also different engine in Euro 2 and we are today uh, the only one on the market we still have Euro 2 engine for Africa and Middle East and overseas country. That's quite impressive I have to say now I see wh where all the, the horsepower is coming from. Yeah 480 horsepower and we can have up to 510 horsepower with this D26 engine. Well and this now, is it. Yes now Patrice I have to start my trip to Morocco before getting too late. Are you excited? Uh, completely, totally, yes. Well, thank you so much that I learned so much that I was capable just to have experienced yeah. this uh, great machine. Have a safe trip. I hope. All right. Ciao, bye-bye. Bye. Take care. And off he goes up for a four-day trip to Morocco, a long haul. But that's exactly what the TJX has been made for. Thanks, and back to you, Chris. Thank you very much, Patrice, and uh, have a safe trip out there, Jimmy, and be sure to let us know that you arrived safely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now it's time once again, our Q&A session. As promised, we want to answer as many questions as possible, live and direct with our experts. So I am joined here once again by Robert on the one side, we have Noel, and we're also joined by Marc Dully. Marc, great that you could join us. Maybe you could tell us, what do you do at MMN? Well, I'm heading the after sales in the area. Okay. And, uh, I'm, really feely, I'm really feeling great to be with you today. So I am confident that we'll be able to cover anything, all right? Whatever questions you have, uh, just send them in. And we have the first ones coming in now. I'm just going to read and you guys decide on you okay. know, who, who will take it. Are the features shown inside the cab standard or optional? I think that's, this one's free. That's, that's one for me. Um, actually, what we have seen in the cabin um, is standard plus optional. Mm -hmm. So not everything is standard, obviously, in the truck. We have a great set of uh, standard uh, options, but a lot of optional equipment. Okay. Um, and, for example, also on the drivetrain, uh, the automized gearbox, and we urge our customers really also to look uh, at the options from a long-term perspective. So because it pays off uh, mm -hmm. after a time. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that is, uh, let's say, our, our way... Uh, let's say, to enable our customers to find the right spot for their requirements that we meet uh, all the needs of our customers. All right. Thank you for that answer. And thank you also for the question. Next one. Ah, of course. What is the price of the new range? Yeah. Uh, it's a very good question. Of course, we are dealing with so many different countries, with so many different regulations. Therefore, it's impossible for us today to give detailed pricing information. But of course, we kindly ask our customers to get in touch with their local dealers and importers in order to get detailed information about the prices, also for the specific countries they are in. Yeah? And this is the easiest way. All right. OK, we'll take that. Next up, um, what can customers expect in the after sales area? Mark. Uh, yes, you know, we have a very dense network uh, in our area. And uh, of course, we will make sure that all the stuff there will be trained in the workshops, that we will have uh, it equipped uh, uh, with all the latest tools and, of course, with all the genuine parts that goes with it. Uh, and I think together uh, with the new electronic architecture that we have uh, within the truck, we are able to, to, de to find the defective parts mm -hmm. earlier. Mm -hmm. And so for us, it's easier than to optimize the uptime for the customer. All right. Thank you for that answer. And once again, keep the questions coming, all right? We have a lot of questions in, in, in already, but just keep them coming. Once again, this is your chance to get your questions answered by the experts directly, okay? They can go nowhere, all right? <laughs> They're here for you. So 
Do you have a special offer for the new trucks? Uh, I think it's a question for me. Yes, we have uh, um, several. We worked on several things together with our importers. As I told you earlier, we are not able to do uh, specific pricing information today, mm -hmm. but uh, we worked on several packages for the countries. Mm -hmm. And therefore, please get in touch with your uh, with your local dealers, with your local importers, so at least you have specific information about the prices. All right, you heard it. Next up. Any new offers from after sales? What are you guys up to? Yes, absolutely. I mean, um, I'm really happy to announce that we will have a, a three years warranty on uh, the drive line of the truck tractor. Okay. So this is something completely new for us. And um, uh, together with a two years warranty on the spare parts, it, I think it gives a good uh, support for the customers here. Uh, beside that, of course, we are offering uh, some special campaigns for spare parts and, and, and last not least, very important are the service contracts that we are offering here as well as well to, to increase and to optimize always the uptime to the customer. This is really our aim. All right. Thank you very much for that. Uh, then, will these trucks offer better fuel efficiency? I think we kind of partially answered it already. Yeah. Well, they definitely, definitely do. And uh, when you follow our conversation we had uh, on the components, I right. mean, it's the efficient components plus the integration, plus the new aerodynamics of the trucks, it would definitely save fuel. Okay, all right. Thank you very much for that. And we have to say, you know, efficiency is such a strong buying argument yeah. nowadays. You know what I mean? If you think about 15, yeah. 20 years back, you know, sure. compared to today. Yeah, exactly. And it's, uh, what's also important to say, of course, it differs. Right. From, uh, dependent on the application, uh, dependent on the use case of the customer. Right. Um, but definitely we have improved significantly the efficiency of our new truck generation. All right. Thank you very much for that. Next question from our audience. Which emission norms do they conform to? Yeah, well, that's one of our key assets, I would say, because we cover everything from Euro 2, our relevant emission norms from Euro 2 to Euro 6. Mm -hmm. So depending on the market, we find the right solution and the appropriate solution. That's interesting. I, 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 and I think I heard in the video we just saw with uh, Jimmy heading over to Morocco, there was also important, once again, the, the, the norm was, was Euro 2 over there. Is that correct? Morocco is Euro 5. Is it Euro 5? Euro Sorry. 4 and Euro 5. Euro 4, Euro 5. Okay. So as you can see, once again, something there uh, for, for all markets. Um, do we have another question coming in? Yes. Do you have TGM double cab for oil and gas sector? Yes, we do. Simple, simple, yeah. answer. <laughs> simple answer. Yes, we do. It's available. Yes, we do. <laughs> it's, nothing, it's, nothing. It's, it's available. Of course, we have renewed also the double cap. Mm -hmm. um, and you will see also all the great achievements are also transferred in the double cap. Cool. Um, so, yeah, it's available. Okay, good. I think that answers that question. Here we go. Uh, we noticed that there were D20 and D26 Euro, Euro engines. Are there Euro 2 or Euro, Euro 3 two. engines for... DO8 engines. No, the, the D08 will be available in Euro 5, Euro 4 and Euro 5 in a SCR only system. Okay. Can you say that again? So D08 will be available for? In Euro 4 and Euro 5, but Euro. with a SCR only system. And okay. that means that they comply with any kind of sulfur content. Okay. Or they can, they can work with every kind of diesel. All right. All right. So I hope that answers your question out there. Next one. What is the engine version to be delivered to Saudi Arabia? I you can want to answer? Yeah, I can uh, answer this question. For Saudi Arabia, we plan to deliver the Euro 2 engine for mm -hmm. the heavy range. And of course, for the medium range, as uh, Robert said, said, just said, the DO8 is only available starting from Euro 4. So we are planning the Euro 4 engine for, for Saudi Arabia. All right. Next up, thank you, by the way, for sending in all these questions. Uh, it keeps us, uh, keeps us alive here. <laughs> Can you tell us how this truck has better service accessibility or less service checks compared to current trucks? Well, I don't know if they have less uh, uh, service checks. I mean, it's, it's comparable to the TG2 that we are selling at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, so it will be on the level that we had as well in the past to our TG2. Yeah, and uh, and uh, but we have an, such an optimized uh, 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 truck at the moment that we don't see any any problems here in this way. So 
Okay. Yeah. All right. How about what type of safety features related to brakes developed in are developed in the new trucks? I take this one. Okay. Well, of course, we have all the let's say relevant brake systems mm -hmm. um, because what you need to know is all the features are uh, derived from the European model or the same basically. Mm -hmm. All the options are the same as for the European models. Mm -hmm. So from a basic technology, this is the latest you can get on the market. That's one thing. But of course, we also have all the uh, driver assistant programs and systems brought into the new truck generation also for other markets than, than Europe. Okay. Very good. So you can get all the features you get over here also in other markets. All right. Sounds good. Are they good for summer in Middle East countries? Do they have air conditioning? <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Do you want to it's available as an option. No, please. <laughs> yes, of course. They are good for summer <laughs> and for winter, I have to say. But of course, for Middle East countries, yes, they are. Yeah. Uh, they, they are proven, uh, let's say, from the engine cooling. That's right. one thing. Right. Uh, we have a specific package for that. Uh, also, uh, a dust filter mm -hmm. uh, for the air conditioning, a mm -hmm. specific dust filter. And of course, we have a, a completely renewed um, air conditioning system. We also uh, renewed the, the overnight air conditioning mm -hmm. system. Uh, so I believe that's the perfect solution now for Middle East countries. An absolutely fair question, once again. I mean, there are just sure. different, you know, different circumstances um, absolutely. under which the, the people there have to work. and. Uh, You've taken that into consideration, though, obviously, also. So, uh, unfortunately, we only have time for one more question, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and we have many more questions in the, in the queue, uh, in, the, in the waiting line, but uh, we'll get back to them as soon as possible, okay? None of your questions are going to waste. But this one, live for you guys. Uh, does MIN have any new digital solutions to offer to its customers? Fair question. Yes, we, have, we are working on several solutions in terms of digitalization now. But of course, what we, have, what we do have now immediately is that we can offer to our customers to see uh, via our trucks to go website. It's an online uh, website where they can see our stock in Munich and they can immediately request an offer for these vehicles. Mm -hmm. The second topic, or let's say solution we are offering, is a telematic solution customized for our countries mm -hmm. uh, with a very big, let's say, um, focus on efficiency and an environmental impact. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, talking about solutions, we offer also financing solutions. So if uh, our customers are in need of some financing solution, they should really talk to us, mm -hmm. either to, uh, to my colleagues in the sales department or, uh, or directly to the importers in order to make sure that they get, um, as soon as possible, specific financing offers um, tailor-made for their markets. All right. Thank you very much for that answer. And once again, communication is key. All right. If you have any questions, once again, our MIN experts are here to help you out. Now, unfortunately, once again, we can't get all answers, uh, uh, questions answered now in our live Q&A uh, due to time restrictions, but we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And I'd also like to remind you to check out the different social media channel, chan channels that uh, MIN has uh, around the world. Uh, once again, a possibility for you to touch base with our experts and also see what's new. There's always something going on, once again, on the internet. So please do that. I'd like to thank our experts here on the round. Mark, thank you thank very you much. Chris. Noel, Thanks. and also Robert for joining us, for being here. Wish you continued success. Stay safe and healthy and hope to see you okay. also again soon. And I'd also thank, like to thank you for joining us uh, for this first digital event here from the MIN Truck Forum out of Munich. It's time to say goodbye, much success in 2021, and hope to see you also again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>